Hi, I'm Hazel, and today we're going through some of the most exciting undocumented changes of 8.1. There was definitely a wide range of things that didn't make the patch notes this time around. This won't be a complete list, but just kind of highlighting some of what stuck out to me. First, for my Alliance brethren out there, they added these two miraculous wooden planks near Vindicator Jailana. You can now jump directly to her from the fountain area for all of your 7th Legion needs. And by extension, you can now hop and skip your way right to the boat without needing to dive into the ocean and click a ladder. My armor must be really salty and uncomfortable by now. It still requires a slightly well-timed jump to make it, but hey, it could be worse. At least we're not dealing with a whole horde pyramid situation. Next, book offhands now sheath on the hip. So this is just books, other styles of offhands don't do this yet. If you're carrying an offhand, keep in mind that you can mog into a book if you want this, or out of a book if you don't. I feel like it sits really high on me, but it wouldn't be the first time that something has sat at an uncomfortable level on gnome bodies. Next, they've added auctioneers in Boralus and Dazara lore for engineers. You can find these near the scrapper and engineering trainer setup, but really only if you have engineering trained. Without it, you don't even see the NPC. I'm guessing that's to avoid rubbing it in our faces, but that's a new one. I, I think. I'm not an engineer. Maybe there's just exclusive stuff hidden everywhere. Next up, the pig in freehold no longer drops in the center. So much for the everybody spam click the middle thing. If you are one of the three people on the planet who was sad about that strategy and really just wanted to play catch the pig, this is your lucky patch. Congratulations. Another one you may have noticed is that many of the Pandaria Shrine portals have been removed. They left out the portals to Northern Dalaran and then Shatrath and Stormwind or Orgrimmar, but the other main city portals are gone. You can still find portals to these classic racial cities in Legion's Dalaran, which you should still have your Hearthstone for. This is probably a change made in anticipation for the upcoming portal room feature coming down the road, but those are definitely not here yet, so who knows. Next, over in the sound options, there is now a checkbox for mute pet sounds. Now, I did some testing, and this appears to be for hunter pets, not battle pets. My molten corgi was still able to bark at me incessantly. If you like to play with sound on, but you are terrified of singing sunflowers, uh, you are still not safe. However, this is still good for hunters that want some peace and quiet, or anybody that fights hunters in PvP. Pet people may notice that Smoochums got a model change this patch. At launch, he was a translucent grey version of his living self, and in 8.1 he's gotten notably more ghosty. He's tougher to see, and definitely a little less cuddly looking. My guess is that this was an intentional update, but the popular opinion does seem to favor the old one, so maybe they'll roll it back and then make more ghost cats with the new model. Next, Island Expeditions now give you a mysterious treasure map when you complete your quota for the week. That map gives you a mission on your mission board that will reward you a piece of Island Expedition loot, which could include the mounts, pets, and transmog, or you might see something like Azerite Gold, War Resources, the usual grab bag goodies of BFA. Make sure that once you've used the map to spawn the mission that you remember to send it out before it despawns. You should have a couple of days, but better safe than sorry. I do like the extra motivation to do some weekly islands because, quite frankly, I needed it. And the last highlight, which is sure to shake up your world, Shaw of Anger's map icon has been fixed to its correct permanent location. Maybe now I'll be capable of flying straight there without getting lost and then wondering why I'm in Pandaria. Or maybe not, some things don't change. So those were my favorite surprise changes of 8.1. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!